Take 25. No, 26. Alright. <laughs> Hi, I'm Hope, Cam for IPF, and welcome to hamradio.world. I'm here with... Hi, I'm Emmett Holensey, uh, W0QH with Radio Waves. And we are at the Stone Mountain Georgia Ham Fest. Here, we have the a, a, um, Missouri Wind and Solar um, wind, wind Turbine, and we're using it to power our station, our special event station. And so, Emmett, um, tell me more about what it does. Okay, well what this is, is this is a nine blade wind turbine, it's called the Missouri Rebel by, by the Missouri Wind and Solar. It's specially made so that it doesn't what's called cog. It creates 1600 watts of power and it starts to work, it starts working at about six miles per hour and it's fairly high current so you can actually run the, you know, charge your batteries and, and run the radios for the entire show. We even used it during a special event station that we were that we had out on the island of Dry Tortuga, and that was our only source of electricity besides one solar panel. But for the most part, that one generator right there gave us the power we needed to run the stations, two of them, for the entire four days that we were on the island. Okay. And so it's, it's like a generator, except it doesn't take any gas. That's right. It's a generator. And it's pretty silent. It's, as a matter of fact, what does it sound like when the wind's blowing through it? sounds like the wind blowing so it's a very quiet generator which is nice and in an RF energy world when we're uh, a lot of wind generators you'll see out there today have create what's called RF hash these generators are very quiet so when they're spinning you don't even your 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 radiation though the radiation is not being emanated from it that actually creates a jamming signal for your radios which is kind of nice so it's a very quiet all-around wind generator does it take? Now it, give it, give. Okay, it runs, It you can get it in different sizes, 48 volts, 24 volts, and in this case it, it's for charging 12 volt batteries. Okay, so we've been using it to power most of the power for both of our stations here as well as mm -hmm. in the dry tortugas. That's correct. It's given plenty of power, and yesterday I was operating and I was using 200 um, watts. Mm -hmm. So how did that supply that? Oh, it, what it did is as the wind blew through the, through the blade, it created, it made the generator spin at, at such a speed that it created current which charged the batteries. And then when it charged the batteries, it created the electricity that we needed to run the radios. Okay. Thank you for watching and keep coming back to hamradio.world to see what we put on. 73.